um, Yakubu Adesokan. Uh, we've said a lot about him already. Mm -hmm. Tunde, this guy doesn't look like he's tired uh, because uh, Paralympic champion Yakubu Adesokan has set a new world record. Um, he set a new world record mark of 176 kg um, to take the under 49 kg title at the International Paralympic Committee Powerlifting Asian Open Championship in Kuala Lumpur. Mm. That was just mm. a couple of days ago. So this guy isn't tired. He's setting records. He holds the world record. He's setting it. He's shifting the barriers. Olympic it, it record. Doesn't, it doesn't well. look like he's getting tired. But other countries are also closing in on us because everybody now knows that, um, look, the Nigerians are just cleaning out <laughs> power lifting. Let's Everything. go and have our share. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's a good one for Yakuba Adesokan. Uh, um, one, uh, one of those athletes that um, actually saved Nigerian face at the London... Mm. Um, when the able of guys couldn't win anything. When the able body guys couldn't win anything. When they couldn't win a bamboo medal. Exactly. So, uh, he, he, he has just been showing that he's a Nigerian and he has been showing that he, has, he will set the record and mm. he will break the record. And um, hopefully, the um, administrators in the NSC and... Um, the federation should be able to support guys like this. Mm. It's not. It shouldn't mm. just be about mm. football. The president did a the lot for these guys. Uh, they we must commend Mr. President. Yeah. During they that did period. a lot yes. for these guys, and it has turned things around for them. Mm. A lot of them. Exactly. It has turned things around. Also, also the mm. minister as well, uh, leading mm. up to the uh, London Olympics. Uh, remember, a major departure from what we had for the Paralympians in the past. He put them in. Quality, quality accommodation, mm. excellent mm. training facilities mm. were put at their disposal. You know, they were usually thrown in a dark corner. I only remembered when they came to the podium to collect um, their, mm -hmm. their, their medals. But you have to look at the kind of structure that has given the likes of Yakubu Adesokon the platform to succeed mm. where normally Nigeria would not succeed and hope that we can replicate and multiply these kind of platforms to give other uh, other athletes who would never really have a chance yes. at the at limelight, you know, to also comfort and express themselves. Where we have a Yakubu Adesokon, I'm sure we can get at least 20, lot more. 20 more. They're all over yes, our streets. They're, 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 all, all, over, over our they're streets. all over our streets. Those they're who can be useful to themselves yes. um, uh, through powerlifting. Mm. All right, let's move away from uh, powerlifting now and talk about the Obudu uh, African Nations Mountain Running Championships that will be taking place um, alongside the Obudu International Mountain Race. And that's because uh, a lot of countries have confirmed that they will be taking part um, at the competition on the 23rd of November. Calabar is the place to be. On the 16th, we'll go there, pick a World Cup ticket. Then we'll go back a week after. We can, we might even stay there. We'll no, we can stay there. Yeah. 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 Just must yeah. overdo. Yeah. And, uh, five African countries will be taking part, fielding teams uh, at the fifth African Nations Mountain Running Championship, which will hold alongside the Obudu International Mountain Race on Saturday, November 25, at the Obudu Ranch Resort in Obudu Cross River State. And um, um, Ethiopia... Um, Kenya, Cameroon, Nigeria, Uganda have confirmed they will be participating in the championship. So, um, uh, Ethiopia can stay after the, the hammering they, they get on the 16th. <laughs> they can stay and uh, win and this Nigeria. one. They can uh, win this one. That, they, that is the thing. I don't even want them to win this one. No, but they can't we, we can just win this one. It will, it will take time. It will take time. We can allow them to win the mountain race. No, no, there's so much money here. Mm. Why, why they we, they can win the mountain Maybe race. Yeah, but unless you have any Ethiopian-born Nigerians. <laughs> Uh -huh. I could train. Oh, yeah. I could train. Yeah. If you have any Ethiopian born uh, Nigerians, then you yeah. have a realistic chance of winning this. But for me, mm. it's a straight fight between the Kenyans and the Ethiopians. And the Ethiopians, once again. Yeah. And probably the Ugandans. Mm. Probably the Ugandans as, mm. as well, because the, the, alti the, the kind of altitudes in which they live and were born, mm. it favors, the, it yeah. gives them a comparative yeah. advantage mm. in this kind of competition. Mm. Mm. All right, let's come back now as we wrap up the show. I spend the, la the last few minutes that we have to read your comments. Um, Connect Ogun at Connect Ogun says, um, what we serve Ethiopia? Because I put it on Twitter that we serve them Swedish bitters. <laughs> uh, we serve them Swedish bitters. Mm. And it says, this is the Nigerian delicacy. Served raw and undiluted. Mm. Our street football, mm. our pride. Now, Nelly on Facebook says, you ask what kind of football the Eagles are playing? The answer is they are playing fast and furious football. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Fast, fast and, and furious. furious. And furious football. Mm. All right, that's the Nigerian way. I'm way. from Denis Arokoyo, He says, he goes another and goes, these boys are playing terrorist football. Mm. Extremely militant on the pitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, someone is asking us, who are the Nigerian represent on duty? 
during the African World Cup qualifiers. I don't know too much about the African mm. referees. I know Peter Edibe um, yeah. is always in the mix. Mm. Paul Bassi is the match commissioner, match commissioner uh, from uh, Burkina, Algeria, Burkina, Burkina Faso. Faso. Yes. Uh, but I'll find out for you mm. if Nigerian referees will be um, on duty. Um, John Oluwa, Oluwa Mitito. Oh, I hope I didn't kill this name. He says, when I look at the Igle team, I see a team with potential if they are properly managed. That's what he says. Mm. Exactly. That is the issue. That is the issue. Achieving success is one. Maintaining success is another thing. Maintaining success and, of course, the gradual mm. um, progression of these players to the under-20 and, of course, later and on to the... Not uh, just making them progress because some may not keep up. Some yeah, may yeah, drop by the wayside, mm, but mm. those who are keeping up, mm. we must ensure that they go to where they are properly developed. Exactly, and that is the challenge. And, that, the and challenge. that for me is where the difficulty lies. Well, it's it's how, how are you going to prevent these players from going moving to abroad? Europe and going to some backwaters? We, we have no legislation that prevents players who are within a certain age from moving outside this country. In fact, uh, players as young as eight or nine can leave this country and nobody bats an eyelid. So, until we have some kind of structure that keeps them in place. And we improve our local league that in such to such a standard that they, they see no shame in playing their trade in the domestic game for at least two or three years before they move abroad, like it is done in South America. Mm. Then we we'll start thinking about how we can track their progression. But right now, nothing stops these players from going to Turkey, Backwaters. We're or really need to post Azerbaijan, or mm. Mm. Tajikistan. Okay, let's update some results for you of matches going on. Real Sociedad United still zero zero. Shakhtar Donetsk by Leverkusen. Um, still 0 0. Essex Copenhagen still 1 0 over Galatasaray of Turkey. Juventus 1 0 over Real Madrid. The penalty goal scored uh, by uh, Arturo Vidal. Arturo Vidal. Uh, and then uh, Olympiacos Olympia 1 0 over Benfica. PSG 0 0. And the ledge. Uh, uh, PSG without Edison Cavani and yeah. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Mm. City 3 1 over CSK Moscow. Victoria pleasing Bayern still 0 0 at half time. These are the results of today's games. Tomorrow, there will be games as well in the UEFA Champions League. Let's just run through. The fixtures for you of matches to be played tomorrow. FC Barcelona will be taking on Stuart Bucharest. Chelsea will be home to Schalke 04. Dortmund will be hosting Arsenal. That's easily one of the biggest games of the night. Yeah. Napoli against Marseille. Zenit against FC Porto. Atletico Madrid will be taking on Austria Vienna. Uh, Ajax against Celtic. And then the biggest of them all Barcelona. are the now camp Barcelona against AC Milan. AC Milan. Mm -hmm. So these are the fixtures. For you yeah, tomorrow. I beg, I beg your pardon. Mm. Uh, Zlatan Bramovic passed a late fitness test and is actually on the on pitch, the pitch for, PSV. For, for PSG. Yeah. For PSG, I beg your pardon. Mm. Our good friend from Oweri, Solomon Onu, the beach goes need the Binegu to be super again. <laughs> um, his absence caught the super the San Diego's qualification for the World Cup the last time. His presence will make them thick. That's mm. what it says. Yeah, mm. Bola, Michael Adebola on um, Facebook says, these boys are the youngest and the best we've ever produced in any youth World Cup. We should try and keep them for the 24 for under 20 and under 23, mm. and then our national f team has a glorious future. Mm. Mm. And finally, this one, Paul Anyangu at Paul Anyangu 24 says, are you of the opinion that some of these eagles should be um, fast-tracked? Yeah. Maybe one or two. A few of them can be invited to come into the Eagles, Eagles. and train and camp with the Eagles. Nah. But... Right now, throw them into the mix. Maybe, maybe no. not. But maybe, maybe not. I think yeah. if you have these guys, I think, I think it's too early. Mm -hmm. I think, I think it's no, just... they've been good. If, if there was an exceptional player among them, yes, maybe. But they've been very good as a team. Yeah, as a team. Mm -hmm. But if there was an mm -hmm. exceptional individual, maybe. Mm -hmm. All right, we have to wrap it up on that note. And of course, I say thank you to you for watching Sports. And I don't forget Friday special preview of the final FIFA Under 17 World Cup. But keep celebrating. The Golden Eagles are looking golden all over again. Thank you for watching. Bye bye now.